today's session is you will be the driver of your future sir may i have your permission to please begin it's my pleasure to introduce you to our guest speaker for today's session mr milin mutalik sir is currently associated as the chief people officer at ecodite digital private limited sir is an hr professional with 30 years of experience and 15 years plus into the information technology organizations mr mutalik was previously associated with dbl food limited as vice president hr and cognizant india private limited as senior manager sir has been honored with 100 super hr achiever award and pune top hr leader by world hrd congress mr mutalik is also the visiting faculty at various management institutes in pune and current member of corporate advisory board at cummins management college pune and indus school of business and management studies pune now i would request sir to take the session further Good morning. Good morning sir. How do you feel being here? Very good. Physically able to see each other from a distances rather than virtually. Great. So uh, we want to have this session more interactive session rather than a monologue that I speak and you just listen to and some of you there feel sleepy. We shouldn't do that. All of you are fresh? Yes sir. You can hear me there? great so get up yeah i think that will be better no you go like a standard so do you believe that you are a so called driver of your future see one very important thing you understand you are in the first year okay isn't it how many of you have worked earlier So you have seen some of the commercial aspects of how the business runs. What was your duty? What are the so-called frameworks? You have to adhere to certain processes, etc., etc. But one thing is be sure: everybody has a career. Do we all believe that? So let's start with the confidence that yes, I do have a career. Okay, I need to make a choice: which career I want to go for, and how do you choose that career based on what strengths you have? or what strengths you would like to build up so what i am going to talk today is about what is the business environment today do you do we all agree globally everything has changed in last two years everything has changed you know this connecting with each other also has changed a long back and now we are restarting and we also do not know can we predict the future we can't but if we try and know the trends of what has changed can i prepare myself with that trends as to how do i navigate in that processes and that trends so today's session whatever we are going to do is talk about that points i have some of the slides which are having a lengthy text i am going to share this presentation with you for later to have a reference of it so not necessary that everything out of that you have to read but follow it have a questions do ask me okay that's the ground rule okay do we start now yes, great okay <clears throat> yes you want me to handle it <coughs> yep ye light band karwa do na well i am used to this stage because i have been coming here quite often earlier i would say yeah <laughs> so uh, if you look at it one quality one must possess to win okay and that is definiteness of purpose okay knowledge then desire these are a simple words but they are very important okay anybody who comes in in the first year of management education is not decided on probably the specialization and they want to go around see what kind of specialization i want to have etc etc one of the major thing we look at is do we go based on something 
which my friend has done. Do we go on something, specialization, where there is a lot of scope in the market? I think both of this are maybe a wrong direction. Not necessary all the time, but maybe the wrong direction. If you're able to know your purpose and what strengths you possess, I think very easy for you to then choose your specialization. Okay? So think in mind, oh, this is where I'm good at. This is where I enjoy. Okay? And then you will able to make it very easy for yourself to make that as your career. Okay? Go ahead. Just go back. Yeah. This is nothing new which I'm saying. We all know, okay, work from anywhere or hybrid, so-called hybrid work setups. These are the terms which are being talked about and I don't take me otherwise, but I call it as a flavor of the season, okay? The ice creams which come in with the flavors, isn't it? They launch it and say three months this ice cream will go on. Okay, the same way, this is a flavor of the season. Have we completely settled on it? Not yet. But as a corporate, I realize that these are the terms which are being talked currently. Okay, majorly the workplaces are not yet fully functional. Because now, one more thing which has hit the whole of our industry globally is known as attrition. People are leaving the job. Demand supply issue is huge when it comes to a talent. And this has happened again because of the cycles of so-called admission, engineering talent. If all of us remember two and three years back, engineering colleges, the admissions have gone down to 60% from 100%. That 40% is hitting us today in the industry that we don't have a talent. Okay? So it is always a ripple effect of some actions which are happening currently which comes to you after a particular period. So majority of workplaces are not yet fully functional. We have been asking employees and the recent study by NASCOM, which is IT you know, body, they found that 50% of employees are ready to come to office from January 2022. Now that's again a prediction. We don't know how it's going to work out. Reset on work from office. A lot of companies like Capgemini and others have started putting up a videos to attract the folks to office, employees to office, come to office, enjoy yourself, these, that, and all. Again, one of the findings are the demography of the organization, or when I'm saying demography, a different age groups decide whether they want to come to office or not. And when we checked with our employees, I work with a company which has got about 3,000 employees. When I check with the employees, a lot of parents who are having kids at home, they're saying, unless the school starts, we are unable to come to office. Now, this is never thought through earlier. Earlier, they have had a support system. They said, till the time the support system doesn't start, we can't come. Now, this is absolutely genuine case. Whereas, there are bachelors and youngsters who says, my goodness, I am missing out, hanging around with the friends. So, there is a different thought processes which are for each of the demography. And that's something which we need to understand so that reset on work from office is going to be exploring each of the part and then come back to the normal. Customer related activities. When you are saying you have a particular customer and the way they are functioning, they are in the same world as you are. So for them, the problems are same as you have. And that's being a reason. One of the things which started happening is understanding each other is better because you are in the same boat. Be it a client overseas, be it a client in India, they're able to understand that when we say why work from home, they very well understand it. Okay, got my point? I'm giving you this particular thought process or context because when you're exploring your career, you all these aspects are going to be very critical and important to take a step forward. Employee related activities, as I made a mention, one of the major aspect, one is employee engagement. And second part is learning and development. We always say that learning and development used to be a classroom phenomena. Why? You are able to have that connect. You are able to see the facial expression and know whether the person has understood or not understood. The query is where more, but when it has come to a virtual setup, it becomes difficult to have the similar level of interaction. I know 
there are new tools which has come in you know artificial intelligence and such other aspects which are making that things more easy lot of responsibility of learning has been shifted from a employer to the employee again when you talk about any institutes even the institutes which are like mbas engineering lot of responsibility of learning and development has been shifted to the students okay and that's something your responsibility has increased to learn because there are constraints and all of us understand why they are so employee related activities students related activities have changed okay go ahead wait how many of you know what is your personality have you assessed your personalities any time anybody no all right okay yes you have done that so what tool you have taken for assessment uh, yeah good morning sir so i am diksha gaikwad from singroli madhya pradesh so basically we had a class activity about uh, the personality test which ma'am has advocated for us so i am more towards the extrovert personality who is open hold on but which tool was used uh, there was a test tool uh, basically we have to give an online kind of a test was okay, there for okay. assessment okay yes. so for Thank everybody's you. consumption we are going to do some small test here for all of us will that be good yeah okay so before that let me tell you for any personality what has been talked about is called as is the iceberg model okay now if you look at it why it is called as iceberg because iceberg is always one third visible above the water level and two third is hidden we all are like this do we realize yes but what is this hidden part hidden part is social role or for that matter self image okay many a times let me give you a small example what is self image when we talk about you know there is a picture shown there is a mirror the cat is looking in the mirror and able to see on the other side tiger okay so many a times we try and do our self image in this fashion all right because we are in the social context okay traits okay motives traits is something which i develop over a period of time right they are also in connection with physical traits okay you know my body language gets developed over a period of time and all this happens when i am growing up my growing up age makes my personality all of us agree to that motives you know many a times somebody who is talking to you somebody who is your employee somebody who is your boss they may be talking something but their motive could be completely different so these are all the hidden parts of our personality social role self image traits motives okay thinking style motivation and job fit is something which is decided based on this okay now when we interact with somebody and say yo i know so and so you know how much do you know that person 20% one third now how do you gauge that based on the behaviors and interactions agreed and many a times you say oh i thought she or he was like this like this but turned out to be why do we say that because we are visible to only one third of it not the full personality okay now this is something very critical that how do we know first of all who we are rather than what do we project ourselves to be okay uh you know what is her name she you commented i am extrovert first and foremost thing never ever label anybody as a personality okay the reason is if you know somebody first and foremost thing nothing right or wrong lot of people say introvert is a wrong personality i think that's something which comes as a thought process believe it or not all the scientists in this world are introverts do you think that's wrong no way there are many people who do research they are introverts because what is it let me go ahead on few slides and tell you what it is okay go ahead 
So we'll be doing a very short MBTI. Otherwise, the big MBTI has 96 questions and so on and so forth. We'll not go into that. We'll do simple one. But don't take this as, again, as I said, don't label yourself. Explore. This is for exploration, not labeling. Again, I'm saying. So MBTI, what it is, it has been written. You're going to get type indicators, OK? Individual to understand their own communication preferences and how they interact with others, OK? Go ahead, next slide. So far, so good? We are here? Yeah? OK. So next one is, you're going to have eight questions. That means four pairs of two each, OK? What you're going to do? you are going to give the, like this, which has been shown here as an example, the two questions total should be seven, okay? So first question, if you give five, the second question you will give two. The first question you give six, the second question you will give one. It's been shown there, you are unable to see the red very clearly, but if you look at it, six and one. Six is the highest score, one is the lowest score, okay? Clearly, do not try to put, you know, one of the things which has been always observed, when people do not want to express themselves, they give the mid number. Okay? And this is what I question. When you're interviewing a candidate, you give a scale of 5, people write 2.5. I say, where is 2.5 in the scale? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. And that exactly shows the personality of non-decisive. If you call yourself a sped, if it is a sped, okay, don't try and say that I am only three because I don't want to say this side, this side. Be clear, okay? That will give you a revelation, okay? As a manager, when you grow in your career, be clear. You want to reject somebody, say I reject. You want to select somebody, ir irrespective of anybody agrees or not, I want to select. Don't be in between. Oh, that fellow will feel bad, this one. No, that will not allow you to be good, okay? Here also I'm saying the same. If it is one, please be cre clearly write one. If it is six, write six. Don't stick to three. Three here and three here. I'm here also and there also. So you're nowhere. Okay? <laughs> All right. Next one. Next slide, please. Okay? Later on you need to do one exercise. Okay? You are now knowing each other. Some of you are coming from the same place. Some of you know each other earlier also. Check out. What you have concluded about yourself? Do they say, yeah, you are the same? Then probably your behavior matches. Because many a times, we are not ready to see ourselves either as a great hero, nor as a villain. We want to be portraying ourselves as somewhere in between. Don't do that, okay? Get to know what it is. Go ahead. Wait here now. You're able to see the pair eight, four pairs here. Now you need to do your exercise to give a mark. So do one thing. Write a number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and go on scoring based on the things which are being written on the top. If any questions, please ask me. And to score, now you write down against one, question number one, if you've got the score, what is your score? Somebody, if you can say, what is the score on question one? Yeah. Five. Okay. Two. Six. Six. Okay. All right. So that is the, you write against the first one. Second one, whatever is the rest of the six, those who have got six will have one, those who have got five will have two. Okay. So that is the way you're writing it. Write down the scores. Against, you write down E and your score, I and your score, S and your score, I and is a score, T, F, J, and P. Cle instructions are clear? One to eight, you will write these alphabets and write your scores against that. Are the instructions clear? Different personalities, okay? You need to pick up what wherever the highest scores are, wherever the highest scores are. So somebody who is having a example, highest score as E, then the personality becomes E, 
Then somebody has a higher score in AS, then personality becomes ES. Higher score on T and higher score on J. So the personality becomes what? ESTJ. Got it? So can you just do that for yourself? Whatever is the highest, or somebody who has got I N T J or I N F P. It could be any of the four alphabet, you will have a personality. Clear? What's your personality coming to? Okay. Anybody else who would like to share? What is it? Okay. Shall we go ahead? Yeah? Okay, next slide please. Okay, this is done by us. Go ahead. Please read out. And this is which is very, very important according to me. So typically it's not labeling, but it's talking about where do you gain the energy from. Extroverts are like to be with others and gain energy from the people and environment. Okay. Whereas introverts gain energy from alone time and need periods of quiet reflection throughout the day. Is it anything wrong with introverts? Not at all. Is it wrong with the extroverts? No. The only point we say is if the extrovert doesn't get the environment where they would able to be motivated and gain the energy, they may not be motivated to do that job. And I have been giving this example. Have you seen accountants? You know all the accountants, finance folks, okay? Do they go on the field and do a work like marketing? Why? They are more towards introversion, whereas extroversion, okay? And that's something which happens, they are more motivated to work within themselves. Going to the next, sensing, intuitive or intuition person. Sensor gathers facts from their immediate environment and rely on things they can see, feel and hear. Sensing it. Whereas intuitive person, oral context and things about patterns, meanings and connections. Okay? This is another, yes, go ahead. Good morning, sir. My name is Charag Auja and I am from Bhopal. Sir, is it necessary that introvert person only goes for finance sector? Not necessary. See, point is even finance would have the work which is interacting with the clients. That's why I'm asking the question. Yeah, because the simple, but you need to know yourself whether are you interested because see many a times our choices. Today, there is a possibility that you can change your career. Engineer can become finance guy. Finance can become, account, uh, you know, uh, HR guy. Anything can happen. But the point is, where do you enjoy? That you need to first find out. Am I going to get motivated? Example, am I being an extrovert person? What will I do? I go to somebody and they say, no, rejection. Are you ready to accept? Introvert person will immediately say, oh my goodness, I take it personally. Okay, so you need to think through about yourself. Is it that there are jobs in finance where you need to interact with a lot of people? Yes. And there are jobs in finance which are more of research based. Okay. So it all depends on what kind of a career you choose. Again, it is not that introverts cannot do a proper communication or interaction with the people. That's wrong. Okay. However, what I enjoy more. So example, again, I've said, if accountant has been put on a marketing job, for a survival, that person will do it and maybe do it successfully. But end of the day, when he comes back home, would he or she be satisfied? No, sir. That's the whole difference. It all depends on the satisfaction. Absolutely. What do I enjoy? And today, the careers are not by force. It is by passion. Okay. All right? And that's the difference we have to understand. Thank you, sir. And that's more coming up post-pandemic. People have started realizing. And that being the reason, there are a lot of resignation. People say, no, no, I'll go and do my farming rather than spending a time here. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, sir. So I'm Diksha Gaikwar from Singroli, Madhya Pradesh. So, so basically, there are many tests uh, which defines your personality, and according to that test, people used to define your career objectives. Like you have to choose marketing, or uh, you have to choose finance. So, according to personality, is career can be defined? Absolutely, but provided 
when you are giving the taste that hidden part is not hidden part but you expressed it you are getting my message yes sir if i don't write what i am then i will be misdirecting myself and rest of the world agreed yes sir it can be used but subjective to you are giving the honest very very honest input into it yes, okay. okay that needs a lot of guts yes sir right yes sir Thank you, you do that right you will get the direction right otherwise it will be misleading yes sir agreed Thank you, sir. yes yeah yes go ahead good morning sir my name is tushar panjwani sir is it okay to feel that these tests are not justifying myself because some of the things were correct but on the other end the second statement in which i have scored 1 those were also like i want to rate 6 because be it this test or many tests um i don't want to make it in a something rude way but it's like uh, i don't think like these tests go along with a personality means a test kind of be a full thing which could exactly evaluate me and tell me what i should choose or not because at okay. then even when achieving the or attempting the test when we are writing at that very moment we also don't know what we are so how could a test know sure sure so let me give you an explanation or one of the aspects you know uh, fortunately i have studied this psychometry and other areas and got certified in some of them let me give an example you go to around the corner there is a south indian restaurant you go into that restaurant look at the menu and say please bring in all of you had a breakfast no okay so i want dosa and the person comes and you know i uh, we don't have a dosa you say okay then give me upma we don't have upma okay then you say what you have you please give me he gives you idli you eat and go out okay is there anything wrong in it no next time you go there you say i want dosa says so just finished upma not there you say anyway bring idli okay so what i am trying to say is you have your preferences in the order okay if you do not get preference 1 you will settle that preference 2 or preference 3 all right you need to find out what is my preference if you are right on your preference everything i want to eat can i eat idli can i eat upma can i eat you know dosa those who like it yes but do i have a prioritization in it now tell me so it's a priority which i am should look at what is my best of the i want everything but what is my priority what is my most important and then i correlate with what is that which i have done in the past when the situation had come when the context was there how did i react so in my school there was a chance to go on the stage and talk in front of 20 people and debate i didn't do that i sat in my chair i want to be extrovert but i am not basically extrovert because i didn't do that at that point of a time you got my point it's always a preferences and one or other which i choose decides what i am going to do as a first reaction and that's going to be your personality gives you answer so always make the best choice the first choice many test give you a rejections if you choose one second you can't choose okay that's how it is so here also you need to do the same if you choose the first one you are rejecting the second one so if you have a dosa you will say i will not have upma if you would have got a dosa you wouldn't have at idli there so you rejected idli do in the preferences are you saying you are not going to eat idli no sets the right context to all of you yep go ahead i'll send you this slides anyway so you can have a look at it but these are the personalities 16 personalities okay and what probably they can look at so example let's say you know anybody who is going to say their uh, uh, personality type here yeah intj now here intj innovative independent strategic logical reserved insightful driven by their own original ideas to achieve improvements think about it are you doing this the second part which i have said is check with somebody whom you know am i like this or am i really not able to make my choices ready or really right so anyone else from here okay let's let's go to him
IS, ISTP. What does, after that I'm coming to you. ISTP, here it is. Action oriented, logical, analytical, spontaneous, reserved. While spontaneous, reserved, independent, enjoy adventure, skilled and understanding how mechanical things work. By Kola Kabi. See, point is, how the brain works for these people is they will look at the complications and they will look at, you know, how do I get over it? Yes, tell me. Sir, it's like PTSE kind of. First, konsa E konsa E ya I konsa Sir, P. E, E. Extrovert or introvert mein kuch to hoga na? Sir, extrovert. Okay, E. Aage konsa hai? Fir, fir, sir, sensor S. No, pura E, uske baad mein bolo? ESTP. ESTP. Now, your colleagues will tell you, are you ESTP? Outgoing, realistic, action oriented, curious, versatile, spontaneous, pragmatic problem solver and skillful negotiator. Okay. Look at it. It's not that if you are answering your preferences right, then you will get dosa. Otherwise, idli. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Good morning, sir. Pradeep Roy, I'm from Chhattisgarh. So I got five traits. Like okay. uh, I am thinker and filler too. As I have analyzed myself in professional and personal life both. Okay. So what would be mine? I'm literally confused. Like mine So is what is what has come into you? Uh, e S T F P. E S T F. F is obviously feeling. You will and able P2. to see here. So P two. Means Pardon me? E here. S T F P. Five cannot come, no? It Sir, can be only... But I am a thinker and filler both. That you think, but others should also think the same way. Uh, thinker in a logical way when no, I am professional. but where the I score is high? In both, I am six. Like, when I am professional, you I can am only When you can only score seven, you can't have twelve as a score. Okay. So that's what I said. If you choose first one, then, dosa, I have then you the can't eat one. idli. Yeah. So you have to choose between them. Which it is. Because these two are different personalities. That's where it says. So your thinker, when you think, you will be taking prolonged time to judge. Okay? What will thinker do? Would come to the conclusion? No. Judging means what? I can see and tell you this person is very intelligent. Judge. Thought, not thought. So you can think. The think person will analyze. See the behavior. Observe it. Okay. Then say, now let me come to the conclusion. Got my point? So that's where you need to, you know, kind of prioritize which one is your first choice. Sure, sir. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Good morning, sir. My name is Harshit Mishra and uh, my personality name is ISTP. Okay. Yes, sir. So are you agreeing to it? Action oriented, uh, logical, analytical, spontaneous, etc. Uh, yes, sir. as uh, it is written that reserved, spontaneous, so I am a reserved person. Mechanical thing works, so I am a mechanical engineer. Uh, so <laughs> Don't have to say. It. See, there is no uh, this thing, magic in it. It's something which you are describing about yourself. So, if, is anybody telling their name wrong? Never. Why? Because you have been told that this is your name and you have aligned and accepted it. A personality is the same. Once you give the right answers there, that's your name. Okay? Fair enough. Let's go to the... I'm going to leave this presentation with you. You can go through it. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. This, they can look at it later. You have given me only half an hour, so I can't take more time. Okay, quickly, let me take you to, through the trends. What is changing? And this is going to decide how you're going to navigate your future. Go ahead. Okay? I'll quickly read out. <clears throat> you know, one of the book which difficult to read, but known as Black Swan as a book name, which is written by Nassim Taleb. He was never remembered by anybody because I read his book three years back. And he has talked about Black Swan. Black Swan. Is there a swan which is black? Never. But that's what he has said that you will face the events in the life which are never seen earlier. And that's exactly what has happened. The pandemic is the event which we have faced, which has never happened in 100 years where the whole world will collapse. And that's something which he has decided, talked about. Old businesses will change and new businesses will emerge. All of us are aware of it. A small thing which I'll tell you, which I observe. 
all of you wherever you are staying in india or wherever you stayed in india you found that there are lot of suddenly lot of vegetable merchants have come into every lane has it that has that happened have you observed it yeah why did this happen you know the whole of our organizations big organizations have closed down so the bulk vegetable selling has stopped and what has happened the retail has come up suddenly see the change it happens in the same way but the old businesses have changed and new businesses emerge and it's going to happen further also okay very importantly as a response to a pandemic there's a shift in the services to the clients and they are ready to everybody one of the thing which has happened is everybody has become i would say two words empathetic and tolerant okay because we know this can happen to me also and that being the reason we all know we are sailing in the same boat first six months nobody was so serious but second wave finished everyone you don't know what's going to happen to yourself essential services in relation to healthcare energy natural resources water and emergency services will continue to be in demand uh, but the business models will change so anyone who's looking at this particular career keep a watch on the trend how this things are changing they're going to change drastically cautious about impact on spread of virus resilient way because see we all are you know behaviors or responses i always call it as a one theory rubber band what does rubber band has as a quality when you stretch it gets stretched but you leave it what happens normal shape hamara aise hi hai pandemic will do all care but the minute pandemic over this is something which is a problem with everybody in the world it's not that you me or anybody but that's something which is vigilance is something which you need to learn as a new thing okay hygiene you know vigilance on being you know kind of having a healthy habit all that is very very critical next slide last one dikhao keta anybody who would like to pursue in healthcare must look at this area is going to be next 5 to 10 years this is going to be most critical area globally any part of healthcare is going to be most important provided you have that thought process of helping others okay i will leave these slides but you know this is very important to read the term which again nasim taleb uses he used he read uh, he re written another book which is known as anti fragility okay and this talks about when there is a black swan event or what kind of uncertain aspects which come in what it should be the behavior or he is writing more for the corporates but it applies to individual also okay anti fragility is beyond resilience and robustness and that's very important to understand this terms okay we always call we should be resilient he saying beyond that is what is required and it says and this is something which has happened again this is a old book i would say it says evolution culture ideas political system technology innovation culture economic success everything is going to change and it has changed we have been seeing that okay what a change let me quickly take you through next 10 trends i'll just read out since the time is less i'll just read out <coughs> this is something his suggestion stick to simple rule build redundancy layers no single point of failure because you don't keep all your eggs in one basket that's what the suggestion is then comes in uh, resist the urge to okay suppress randomness there is going to be a randomness everything will not be systematic format you step 1 step 2 step 3 in general corporate world okay you have your soul in the game experiment and thinker take lots of small risk you allow the risk to happen and so on and so forth i leave again this slide for you to read and learn from it go ahead now quickly <clears throat> reimagine and reinvent our lives and what's there's something which is again coming from one of the gsd.com which i search for globalization will be redefined with a stronger emergence of social capitalism what does that mean it says okay 
every country got impacted and companies will focus on a governance and business management model greater focus on corporate social responsibility and well-being of a people earlier this was done because of mandate you know somebody is asking me that's why i want to do it now when i started losing my employees or their family members i have to do it as my one of the strategic agenda and that is a change which has started happening everywhere in fact governments are into it now digital transformation that my critical activities if they are only human led there are chances my business will fail and that being reason wherever i am able to do a digital transformation we are going to do it on demand workforce will increase we have been talking or you will be learning this term known as gig working or gig workers and that's something which is very prominent in the western world people don't have a job throughout the year they are working as per their convenience for 3 months 6 months 8 months okay or a different employers they work with so that's called as a gig working and that being a reason use on demand so if anybody knows the manufacturing companies have worked in the manufacturing company you know that you get the contract laborers and then get rid of them when there is no season so it's a many time seasonal laborers which have been taken so that's going to increase basically but you need to learn how to engage and retain them and the government of india is also trying to put in the policies in place for this kind of laborers go ahead next <clears throat> okay everybody knows whatever we talk about healthcare globally has failed miserably during the pandemic believe it or not everybody used to feel that western world is the best in the medical facilities but the death rates were much higher in the western world okay and that is something which sees this is something which is very very critical now and rest of the aspects which will be formed as a norms everywhere okay today it's typically you know we being a rubber band thought process we always try and see the easy way but it's not going to help us and some of the countries will definitely keep this very very importantly one of the new issues which are coming up is known as mental health and that's something which was never talked about earlier with this two years of change of context we have started discussing a topic about how do we do a mental wellness okay change of context change of habits change of different experiences and now you bringing back everybody to office if you ask them to come by force they will not come if somebody has lost very near and dear one they still coping up with the change so all this has become very importantly a mental well being as one of the issue supply chains will be reconfigured the reason is very simple globally if you look at the things the supply chain was majorly controlled by raw material suppliers or for that matter assembly people and that country was one country china and now everybody knows that if we have dependence on only one we are going to have a trouble so there is a change which has started happening many countries wants to like some of the asian countries have put in their association together to see that they are able to have their own supply chain wherever the raw materials are available okay i am not elaborating we don't have much of a time that's where <clears throat> go ahead needless to say the workplace will change and i said this in 2018 also we would not see probably a new infosys like campus do you think that's you are going to see in your future i don't think so because now people got habituated saying that i can work from anywhere okay earlier we used to laugh at the people who used to sit in a startup and work from cafe coffee ccd hey ccd me what they are doing office do you think that was never imagined by us as now possible yeah so the point is the definition of workplace will change completely many of the senior leaders from big companies like microsoft has got the villas in pondicherry and other places and they are going to permanently work from home why because they want to do that way okay and company will allow them to do very importantly you're going to have a scarcity of a skilled manpower whichever sector you go into be it a healthcare be it a hospitality be it finance be it information technology you're going to have definite shortfall of the people 
and upskilling reskilling is going to become a major priority and this is where you're learning you're starting now but you need to ensure that how much more in my area i can learn by certification by acquiring more skills your one degree and this is something which i have been always saying you need to be job ready those who have worked they understand what i mean by job ready you should able to go and start your work on the day one there if you're going somewhere as a trainee what are they doing they investing their time energy and money on you do you think the organizations are ready to do that not at all if you're coming as a mba graduates start working actually i used to use this term minus 60 minus 90 what does that mean 90 days prior to join you join my organization you should know about my organization challenges and you should able to work something where you are able to come and do a magic on day one are we all ready for that we need to think through and that being the reason of skilling reinventing yourself and skilling is very critical urban transformation because many people will move from urban and this has started happening typically what we started doing is many people who are again uh, the a uh, scope of hiring has changed i can have 100 resources out of one corner of india earlier if they insist on them to come to bangalore and work they were not ready because shifting was taking time and so they have family blah blah dependency etc today can i have 100 people workforce in odisha yes i can and what will i do i'll keep some contact point for them so the whole landscape of working is going to change and that's what it says work habits will lead to a urban transformation a bangalore about 45% people think of going back to their villages or home places and work all of you who are sitting here you're going going to go back to indoor mp and start working things will change definitely yeah last two points quickly this is unavoidable innovation that's something which is daily if you don't innovate you're going to have a trouble new mindset will drive the future of success mindset and that's something which is you know i if given a choice next time i would like you to understand about what is known as mindset and how do you and that's going to help you in a big way when you talk about the mindset go ahead skip the next slide and i would go to straight away skills yeah wait here we'll talk about the work skills now quickly go ahead next slide please okay this is when you're working remotely one of the most critical thing is effective communication okay uh, next one i would say is you need to have adaptability and flexibility motivation yourself you need to be self directed motivation perseverance and self discipline you know what's happening typically and we are realizing and experiencing that that your work hours have been stretched more than 8 hours everywhere it is there because that's the advantage we are able to get collaboration openness to learning accountability planning and organizing self direction press one more just go back for a minute yeah are you ready to take the responsibility okay dedication to the team ability to work independently and flexibility what does that mean ownership of your own work we all are used to working in a hierarchical boss ne bola i will do it are you ready to become your own boss to drive the things and that's something which is going to be most critical as we go ahead because there are going to be less and less supervisory layers which will be there go ahead i'll quickly touch upon this uh, terms wait for a minute here yeah? commercial awareness how many of you are, who has worked also earlier knows which companies you have worked to, with anybody who has worked earlier yeah which company you worked with yeah go ahead tell me i can hear it decathlon what do they do so i'm mrithul sahani from jabalpur madhya pradesh i've worked for decathlon sports india private limited 
they sell sports products what is their revenue uh, sir i don't what know. are their margins so margin uh, i mean for a store the turnover goes around 20 lakhs how many stores day? they have in india around 70 plus so how, what is their revenue totally what are their margins what are the expenses they have maximum maximum see business acumen means you need to know how the business runs you could be in any department finance hr marketing okay operations if you do not know the whole business your communication will be not so effective okay so that's a business acumen thank you so much you know well but i am saying what is business acumen is something which is very important to know about business communication communication is not english according to me it is able to convey the right message in terms of business okay english helps but if you just go on speaking great english but there is no message towards business will it help so please all those who feel that i don't have a great english doesn't matter do you know the matter well do you know the subject well then it doesn't matter at all okay so that's my definition of communication teamwork all of us have been told how to work in the team right from our young age yeah yes all of us agree bachpan se sikhaya hai team mein kaise karna hai kaam yeah yes or no yes, absolutely wrong absolutely wrong why whom you were competing with when you were very young sisters brothers hmm house with or even you see if you are a lone child your mother father will tell look at that auntie son or daughter they so do you think that team would work why because their objectives were different and they were competing with each other in the organization when you mean team work it is a 400 meter relay race dekha hai 400 meter relay race with you pass on the baton from 100 meters every who wins and who loses all four will win or all four will that is team work have we tried that earlier never corporate needs this if you don't pass on the baton you don't lose everybody loses and that's the team work in the corporate structure we need to learn negotiation and persuasion again those who are here in marketing and those who would like to pursue any other things negotiation means finish the person who is on the other side isn't it it is wrong definition it has to be win win if that person survives you are able to survive when you finish that person you will never have to deal with them that person next time so it is always win win is a negotiation it is not win lose or lose lose okay problem solving there are methods of solving the problem and this is something all the youngsters have to learn a lot because in the formative years of yours you are away from the house in our times we were in the house and we had somebody as a guiding light to us to solve our problem uncle aunt somebody senior who would hey what is that mood today it's not so good so we'll tell the problem and we'll get the experience problems only today who is going to solve your problem you will solve her problem she will solve same experience so problem solving is one more very critical aspect you all have to learn okay and that is going to set a lot of direction for you going ahead leadership again whenever i am reading a cvs of the mba graduates they say sir i have done a leadership i have organized this feast i have done this 20 events and i am a leader okay is that a leadership then i go and ask how many people joined how many people you could persuade to join sir there were 20 whose group but finally i had six people who worked so that is the leadership i had so the point is leadership is something different leadership is are you able to lead yourself first if you are able to lead yourself automatically the influence will go to others and they will join you you should have a goal you should have a cause and that's a leadership organizing yourself is very very critical how organized you are is going to make the whole planning organizing work for you so planning and organizing goes as a organization and perseverance and motivation there are motivations of two type i make a grand office you walk in and feel great about it but what happens when you, your bosses are not good in that office 
you still have a great office but you don't feel like motivated there so motivation is inside out rather than outside in what i feel from inside about the place is more about the work about the activity is more important that's the motivation perseverance is there are going to be failures there are going to be problems are you able to stand back come back is a perseverance okay go ahead and now coming to your competencies is there a difference between skill and competencies skill is something which you practice motorcycle riding is a skill driving is a skill i have driven 2000 miles or kilometers i am better driver without accident or i am just learning my driving these are two different things okay skill can be measured competencies are more over behavior or outcome oriented and they are analytical and critical thinking applied problem solving ethical reasoning and decision making it is very very easy to be doing a shortcuts okay but those who do the shortcuts pay back in a very long term in a bad way so ethical reasoning decision making innovation and creativity is needed in every area digital literacy is the name of the game today as i said digitization is going to happen everywhere career management very critical when you feel that you are in the right career you should grow there when you feel that you need to change you need to prepare for it and change i was talking to somebody yesterday did the education in technology then did mba hr and now heading hr somewhere so there are career changes which do happen so manage your career diversity is one of the thing which is coming up very big way because you are going to have anybody and everybody working with you you know there used to be a term which was used as we are a global village in a village everybody is connected to each other the same way in the workplace you are going to have anybody coming from different nationalities backgrounds etc also today we talk huge about inclusivity gender choices are completely different okay and that's very important point to learn community engagement is very very important and every organization have realized that community engagement is a very critical aspect for them too so these are all important aspects as a competencies you need to develop they may be there in you but you have to practice and show in your behavior outcome that this is something which is happening next slide two more minutes i'll finish i generally you know this is the summary work workplace work skills environment a change we have known what personality you carry you are going to have these slides look at them again i made some of the points that gig workers healthcare workplace change new mindset skill competencies okay so with all this inputs you should be able to make your future in your hands you will be able to drive it that's the conclusion quickly any questions yes Oh. Good morning. This is Nidhi Jaswal from Kolkata. Uh, so I have uh, attained a lot of knowledge from this session. So I would just like to ask you one question. Would it be better to mold ourselves, or our personality on the basis of the market field or wherever we are or we should be the same and trying to go for the thing that we are? Will cat able to play the role of tiger? Don't change it. Play cat's role. Does cat have a space in the animal fraternity it is cat bhi jinda hai tiger bhi jinda hai you don't have to be tiger when you are cat be what you are be original yeah yes, yeah make sense yeah thank you yes good morning sir uh, my name is harshit mishra i am from gwalior madhya pradesh i want to ask that as uh, as we all know the workplace is just changed on nowadays in pandemic so is this going to be a elastic effect for a long or is it going to be as a plastic so sir in the, is this going to be a elastic effect for a long or is this just going to be a plastic today nobody can predict more than 3 months so we have to adapt to both the ways either we do it 3 months or maybe we will have to stop within 15 days one doesn't know so it would given a choice people do not want to come back to work unless it is proven that it is safe so that's the difference 
Yeah. Thank okay. You, Thank you. All right. Last question, because I see a lot of movement there. Good morning, sir. My name is Poonam. So, sir, we spoke about rescaling and upscaling earlier. So, if there are two candidates, and nowadays uh, with uh, the online uh, platforms like Upgrad coming up, it becomes very easy to avail for a course sitting in the comfort of your room. So, there are two candidates, and they have done equal number of online courses. So they are in their resumes, it's visible. So which one will the company choose? We look at potential for learning. Have you done by force because you want the job? Or are you liking it? And believe it or not, you've done the course, but the person who is sitting on the other side knows what that course is. And they ask two questions that they will know who is done sitting at the home comfort and who is done because of learning. OK? Yes, one more question. Sure. So uh, since we spoke about personalities earlier, in a regular lecture, one of my uh, professors she asked me to define aggressiveness and to my surprise she told me that I asked you to define because I've seen that in you. So I went back and I searched for some constructive traits of aggressive people and I couldn't find uh, many. So would okay. you like to throw some light on Can you just come again? I couldn't get your question well. Yeah. So my, uh, one of my professors, she asked me to define aggressiveness. 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 Okay. And she asked me to do so because she saw that in me. Okay. So I went back home and I searched about the constructive traits, but I couldn't find many. Okay. So would you like to throw some? Okay. Light? So see, anything which has been commented based on one reaction may or may not be right. So aggression can also be a negative and positive. Okay. You have to be aggressive when it is required. You may have to be passive when it is required. But are you able to change the gears? There are people who are throughout aggressive and they know that they are aggressive, but they are unable to avoid it. It's like anger management. Many people know they are getting angry, but they are unable to avoid it. So the, what they have to do? They have to do a therapy to get, get over it. It's a personality problem which they could have. Okay. So constructive by searching, you will not be able to change. By realizing, you will be able to change. Yeah. Thank so realize, then you will be able to make a change. Yeah? Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you so much, sir, for this insightful session. It was full of knowledge and liveliness. I'm sure students would have learned a lot from your shared experiences and would have enjoyed the session to the core. Best wishes for your future endeavors, sir, with the hope of meeting you again. And thank you, students, for so attending this session. Thank you. Thank you.